Hello everybody and welcome back to Making History 2 and uh, today we're continuing with our Rocky Mountain States game for the Man in the High Castle mod and as you can see we <laughs> there's a bit of a we already got some ballistic missiles out and uh, well basically what happened another technical difficulty for some reason my mic thing whatever it's called I actually don't know what it's called in the sound in the sound settings the recording thing um, the levels, the microphone volume, it went all the way down to zero for some reason. So I was very quiet, and then it was just uh, a loud noise, like me clicking on this factory. Or and me clicking on a city or something. It was just a loud noise randomly, and I was very quiet. So yeah, basically that the entire previous part is... It's watchable. You can If I really crank up the volume, you can still hear me. It's just that every once in a while when I click on a city, it's going to be incredibly loud. But, you know, for all the games that could have happened to, this is probably the best because pretty much nothing happened last video. Uh, just like the previous two, <laughs> nothing nothing happened at all. Uh, we continued to get more research. I think I got another research facility out. Um, we did... We got, uh, did I get actually, I think, yeah, we got liquid fuel engines, we got military industrial complex, we finished this, last, last video, we finished like three researches, and we're starting on infantry weapon six, and we don't have much to go, um, I built jet propulsion labs and rocket labs in each of the cities with research things, and I'm probably gonna try and get more universities out, although I still have to... Still have to build a lot of a lot of factories, but but uh, right now we need to focus on getting jets, and then once we get jets, I'll probably focus on getting these armored things, um, the the uh, mechanized and motorized infantry six, and then main battle tank twos, and then after we get those, I think we'll just kind of be done with research altogether. Oh no no, I also wanted to these three, these three right here. Um, we need naval academies only for this. Well, technically for this too, since this requires this, but... We, we only need naval academies for, like, one tech. So that's gonna be good. Uh, but yeah, we're approaching the end of the tech, but... The, t the tech tree. But we still have, a We don't have a whole lot of research points, so it's gonna get slower and slower and slower. And I... Yeah, I upgraded all our entire infantry force from the beginning. I upgraded all that to infantry five. And we started to crank out ballistic missiles, which are unbelievably slow. They move the same they move at the same pace as militia. Despite the fact that you can just put these things on fucking trucks. As you can see with the model here. But whatever. And I think right now I got three cities. I got three cities on those. Yeah, three cities on those. Um, just more factories in general. I think I we finished. Uh, we're about to finish all the ones that took about two hundred turns to get up there. But other than that, it's just uh, basically waiting for the turn timer to go by every turn. But hopefully, you know, hopefully we get some combat pretty soon, especially with these ballistic missiles. I can definitely. Um, I can definitely meet the AI head on much sooner than if I were to do heavy tank ones like I did last time. And I'll probably require a bit a bit less manpower. I believe yeah, these require I think they require 20 manpower to make in the first place. But each one only has 10 hit points, so I assume it's going to only take 10 manpower units to replenish a whole thing. So we're making about 30 MPUs a, a turn, so we can we can reinforce three of these every turn. So we're probably not going to run into the... We're, we're probably going to run into it eventually, but we might not... We'll have a bit more time before we run into the manpower shortage problem where we're not able to replenish our main force. And these things are deadly. We got four missiles and we're already up to 2,000. The only downside is that they move really, really slow. And that uh, they're they're pretty fragile. We got four. We only got forty hit points, but you know, I think we do so much damage 
We do so much damage that I don't think it'll matter. And the defense is equal to the damage, too, so I really don't have to worry about, you know, with tanks, I had to make sure I was always on the offensive because, you know, they have a crazy off offensive advantage. But with these missiles, I can go on the offensive or defensive, and it won't matter. Uh, we still have to worry about fuel, which we, we have to worry about fuel, and then we have to worry about the fact these things are slow as fuck. So that's just great. But I was, I was in the middle of just, I was upgrading every city to large factories. We can go straight to industrial enterprises now, which once we get up to industrial enterprises, that's going to make things go much faster as well. Because in the upgrade to industrial plants and industrial enterprises, those, those both cost 25 manpower units rather than 50, like it is for a mechanized or large factory upgrade. So that's pretty good. I wonder if Houston, um, I wonder if Houston has a naval academy. No, Houston does not. Okay, we're gonna need to build that. Yeah, we. Oh, nope. Whoa. <laughs> Way too many clicks there. Uh, and totally by accident. By complete accident, I split up these ballistic missiles into, like, two turns apart each time. Which is pretty cool. It definitely builds up. It feels like we're building up much faster than we are. It just... I mean, we're building up the same rate regardless, but... It feels like, it feels like things are constantly getting done. When it's two turns something, two turns something, two turns, you know. It, make, it makes things feel like they're moving faster. Which, for this mod in particular, I definitely need things to move faster. I mean, yeah, look at that. that that's, these ballistic missiles are the most overpowered thing I've seen. Like, I mean, with all the ballistic missiles we have pumped out already, I want to see how we compare to the Pacific States. Um, Pacific States. Look at this. Look at this. We've already overtaken them in both of these. In both things. Um. Uh, what, what counts as, what counts as... Oh, but missiles aren't even counted here. They don't, they don't even come up. I thought they were... They act, they act like artillery because they have equal offense and defense, but they're not showing up. But yeah, look at that. We've already we've already overtaken the Pacific states in terms of attacking and defending power. Which I mean, we we directly border the Japanese now, so that's not exactly the best thing. Um, who's the highest? The Japanese Empire, twenty four thousand, thirty thousand. I mean, look, we're not far off. We're not that far off. Considering that we just started building up, like, not many turns ago, we're not far off from the Japanese. Um, so I think we're, we'll, uh... I think I'll just, I'll just move... I'll move the missiles from Edmonton and Denver. I'll merge them all up into one, and then I'll just let these build up in Mexico City, just so we have something down here on the border with Japan. But yeah, that that kind of sucks though, because I can't, I can't see how many missiles they have, because they they don't seem to register that they're a unit in the game. They still register when it comes to you know offensive and defensive potential, but. I can't actually see the physical unit, the number of units. So they could have they could have dozens of these, but they probably don't. They probably don't have hundreds of those because, um, you know, they're, they're only at twenty four thousand. And based off, yeah, two seventy four, sixty one, one hundred eight. Or that's those are planes. But based off all these numbers, and based off these numbers, they probably don't have too many ballistic missiles.
And ballistic missiles, ca they can, uh... They can shoot into cities and stuff. They, they, they almost act like bombers. Like, I can shoot the infrastructure. Actually, we can see it right here. We can attack the, the transportation. If there was an airbase here, I could do that too. Oh, we can, oh, we can only attack infrastructure, I guess. Okay, I was wrong about that. But we can attack infrastructure of the city. So we can, you can use these to decimate cities, but they get, they get consumed when you do that. So I think I'd rather just, uh, use them for direct combat, which could lead to some heavy losses, especially since they're so fragile, but to be honest, it's probably better, probably better than using anything else. Cause they do so much damage. And yeah, Germany, Germany's been tearing itself apart for the past entire game, so... Nothing is really crazy. Yeah, the major downside of this, of these things though, is that it takes so many turns for them to get places. It, it's so brutal. So we're really... We're really gonna have to lure these guys in. And we're definitely gonna have to produce uh, tanks and you know, mechanized and motorized infantry, because we're going to need to move fast in certain areas. Or it'd be nice to, at least. And if they don't decide to, if they don't decide to build ballistic missiles at all, if I just spam tanks, main battle tank twos, so if I just spam those, then it's like, they're not really going to be able to do anything. If I just spam tanks. They're going to have a decent bit of tanks on their own, but not nearly enough to stop me if I just go hardcore with the tanks. So maybe, maybe I'll build up like a huge force of ballistic missiles and use that as like a trump card. Whenever I run into anything serious, I'll just like throw those guys in there and we'll just annihilate everything and probably lose a lot of ballistic missiles myself. But... I mean, yeah, if, if I get up to 20 missiles, that's like game over. Because by the time we get up to 20, we'll have a decent bit of hit points. We'll have 200 hit points and like God knows how much damage. So the only thing is we'll, we'll have to we'll have to get some other troops. I don't want to get mounted infantry because they just fucking suck. So I think I'd rather do... I'd rather do mechanized infantry. Motorized, motorized are, are wheeled. And wheeled, wheeled troops have a serious, they have serious moving problems. Whereas tracked, they, uh, they still suck in mountains, but. They're just a bit better overall. Yeah, wheeled, wheeled are just kind of trash. So that's the game plan. Um, is to uh, get get a whole bunch of ballistic missiles. Probably probably about two forces of ballistic missiles. Just just so I have you know some flexibility. And I don't I don't need many missiles to get an overwhelming firepower thing. So. I don't think I have to worry about too much when I have enough of these guys. But after we get enough of those, I'll switch over to a bunch of probably mechanized infantry. I don't, I don't even know if I should invest in tanks. I probably should. I'll pro I, sh I should probably do a mix of mechanized infantry and tanks. Um, main battle tank. Twos, can I see the speed? These, I think these might, I, I know the mechanized infantry are 500 speed. The main battle tank 2s might be 450 or 500. But either way, they move really fast. 
The only problem is, um, you know, we're going to be so heavily reliant on fuel, but uh, I can't rely on manpower. <laughs> I can't do that. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more I the more I just need ballistic missiles because like even if I do do a bunch of tanks and mechanized infantry, like we're going to take hits obviously in combat. And I'm going to need one man I'm going to need one manpower unit for each one I lose on combat. For each hit point I take, I need one manpower unit to replace it with. So I can't, I can't be rolling around with these gigantic armies. I just, I can't afford to. So, yeah, I mean, ballistic missiles seem like the best choice. So let's see this right here. Um, almost up to 4,000 already. 10 missiles is up to like 4,300 or some shit. Well, 10 missiles, 10 missiles would be exactly 4,000, but there's, like, defensive terrain and shit. Uh, yeah, I should be able to completely annihilate this. Actually, um, let's build... Let's build an airbase, because last time I did some recon into their territory, and that helped me out a lot. It's, but it's probably the exact same situation as last time. They have a big tank force here, big tank force here. Yeah. So hopefully we'll hopefully we'll do so much damage against their tank forces that it's just they can't handle it. And they'll just get like one tapped. Because if you can get to the if you can get to the um the level where you're just like stack wiping things turn 1, you really you don't take that many hits. You're you're still going to take a few. And a, a lot at that. Especially with these ballistic missiles. Um, ballistic missiles. Oh, holy shit. Yeah, resistance. Jesus, fuck. Light tank 2s, they have a 35% resistance. Yeah. And I, the ballistic missiles have a 0% resistance, it looks like. Uh, yeah, infantry, oh man. Oof. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's up in the air. We're gonna find out the hard way whether or not ballistic missiles work. Shit, but, uh, these tanks. Each light tank, too, has 25 hit points. Motorized field artillery. Um, motorized field artillery has no resistance to damage either. Oh, we finished infantry weapon 6. Awesome. We will upgrade the entire force. And there we go, that's all the upgrades. Uh, now we need to choose a new research. We need to go straight to um, astrophysics and then, then it's transonic flight. And I don't think I don't think I'm going to get the advanced jet fighters. Because they are uh, they're they're I think they're like five percent better. I think they have a 5% greater chance of hitting, but other than that, they have the same hit points. The improved jet fighters are a little bit cheaper. Um, they have the same attack damage, so they're... The other ones are going to hit more, so it'll give the effect of them having more damage, but at the end of the day, they still do the same exact damage per attack. And we got two more cities up to 75, or up to large factories. 
up to four missiles here. We'll be able to completely wipe these guys. Yeah, again, the only thing... Yeah, I really, I really, really need, like, a, a small force of fast-moving units. Shit. I don't need many, though. I To, like, to man an entire border, you really don't need too many troops. Because if there's just one force, if there's one troop, or one division, or whatever you want to call it, in a region... The AI very rarely goes at it. Uh, of course, every once in a while, they'll, they'll take their gigantic army and smash through, but... The AI just ain't too smart. They don't really utilize the, I guess, tactics too well. And I think it'd be best, it'd probably be best to use, uh... Mechanized infantry for the front line because they're fast and they're tough, but they're also infantry. So, that'd definitely be best. Uh, let's. We're up to 13 missiles, we're up to 16 in total. So, four more missiles we need to get up to 20. And. Patrol that. And. Control that. And let's see what we got. Let's see what we're dealing with. And, by the way, the Japanese, the Pacific States specifically, they built a whole bunch of paved roadways here. Which is something the AI pretty rarely does. Unless they, there's no way they started with that. So, they actually built paved roadways, which, why only pac the Pacific states have done that, I have no idea. One and three, and 14 tanks, 380 hit points, 788 defense. And then, oh, 13 infantry. What the fuck, where's their... Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I, I got a man both the far north of Canada as well. They might have a... They might... There's no way they have a big army over here. So this is an even better... We're, we're in an even better position than last game. Because last game, they went pretty... Oh, hold on. Okay, no. Last game, they went really, really hard with the tanks. But in this one... Not really. Um, where are the Pacific States? Um, Pacific States. Look at this, we've almost, we've over doubled them now. Jesus Christ, those missiles are overpowered. 29 tanks. 14 of which are right there, and then I think the rest... The rest are just kind of spread out. So, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Did I accidentally... No, yeah, they have all that infantry right there. Yeah, we're, yeah, okay. Killing the Pacific States is going to be even easier than last time. And I wonder, I wonder if I can, if I can kick the shit out of the Japanese hard enough, if I can get a peace treaty. Before I have to go all the way across the goddamn ocean. Like, if I can annex all the Pacific states, that'd be great. And then if I can just... I'm gonna need to start building up ships right away. And we're still gonna need, a. Uh... We still got some research to do. I gotta get these. I gotta get these top tier ships. I gotta unlock the top tier ships before I do anything. Yeah, these right here. 
which 200, 200, 200, those will, those will get done pretty quick because right now we're researching stuff that's like 700. That takes a while, but yeah, 200, we'll be able to pump that stuff out. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay, three more missiles. And then after that, I guess I'll just leave them on ballistic missiles for a while, and maybe build up a third force, or just sh or just ship all those down to um, uh, the Mexican border, or I guess Central American. Uh, whatever. Two thousand two hundred points, um, <laughs> 60, 61, 60. Oh, uh, I, I suppose I could... Yeah, I suppose I should start building uh, munitions plants and fat and uh, vehicle plants in these two cities, just so we're ready to, uh, you know, start building mechanized units as soon as we can. But you're gonna need a, we're gonna need quite a few, uh, <laughs> uh, manpower units to get that started, but. We are growing at a decent pace, and now we're up to 18. Yeah, we're gonna be up to eight. We're up to 18 missiles now over there. We should be able to start a vehicle plant. Yeah, we should be able to start a vehicle plant with this current manpower. Cause oh, we're up to 30 now. Good. start a vehicle plant in Houston just because that's a that's a bit more that's just closer to all the the Japanese fronts uh, 19 missiles and then we got Winnipeg up here which I'll also build a factory oh we can oh no oh we started the missile that turn okay so that should be, that's 19 missiles. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, one more missile. This turn we should start the vehicle. Yeah, we started it. And then I'll get out another vehicle plant in Winnipeg. And I guess, yeah, once we get up to, once we get up to 20 missiles, I'll take Denver and Edmonton off of ballistic missiles. I'll probably, I'll actually, I'll have these guys finish, I'll fi have them finish the ones they're working on. So I'll take them off, uh, yeah, take them off repeat. And then I'll send, we'll have one extra, so I'll send that one extra down to the Mexican border. But now we will start getting munitions plants and vehicle plants in all these cities. And then after that, uh, we'll probably go back onto missiles. The turns have been going actually decently quick in this one so far, so that's pretty good. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what determines how fast the turns go. Sometimes they seem to go like unbelievably slow. Sometimes they don't. I guess it's just the amount of movement the AI is doing, or the amount of movement Germany's doing, because Japan really doesn't have that much, but the Germans probably have so much shit that it's just crazy. But yeah, it's go it's going a decent bit faster than usual, so that's that's pretty good. And we'll be up to twenty missiles this turn. Yep, one done there, that'll bring us up to twenty. And we can start a vehicle plant right there in Edmonton. 
Yeah, we'll start one right there. That's that's close to the Japanese border, cl way closer than Winnipeg. Then we'll do Denver. Then we'll get out a whole bunch of uh, munitions plants. Well, actually, we only need two munitions plants, one for Houston and Winnipeg, and then I guess every other city. Got our vehicle plant in Houston done. Um, we can start a munitions plant in Winnipeg right now. We'll have the manpower next turn. And Denver finished their last ballistic missile for a little bit. So we'll ship that down to the Mexican border. Uzbekistan. <laughs> And now we'll uh, we'll save up for a vehicle plant in Denver. Oh, we finished the Winnipeg munitions plant. That was quick. Uh, we could start. We could start the um munitions plant in Houston, but I think I'd, ra I'd rather start the vehicle plant in Denver. Which next turn we'll be able to start it because, or the turn after next turn. Because they're about to finish these ballistic missiles in Mexico City. Which is going to take up. Some manpower. Alright, Denver... Vehicle plants. Vehicle plant in Edmonton. There we go. And how much... Uh, how many manpower units do mechanized infantry use? 20. Okay, they require 20. And they have 25 hit points. Main battle tank 2s have 40 hit points. Not bad. 25% resistance to damage as well. Yeah, those mechanized units aren't bad. Holy shit. Just, it's just when they're used against me, it uh, kind of triggers the hell out of me. It's not, not even, it's not even that they're being used. It's the fact that they just like they run them through your territory like with no plan whatsoever, just to disrupt things. It's so fucking annoying. Like those things would be damn helpful on the front line, but they just, they don't produce many of them, and they just go crazy through your territory. Uh, let's get this place, let's get that place up to large factories. Um, so we're gonna, one, actually I have to, oh yeah, we have to start building, um, military academies because we need maneuver warfare and stuff like we need to get some for the for the mechanized infantry and the tanks we have to go back and get every we have to get every other previous tech we can't just jump up to mechanized infantry six or main battle tank twos we got to get every tech before then so i gotta start building military academies in all the cities that don't have one which is one, two, it's half of them. So Edmonton, Houston, and those. Okay. Um, Houston. Build a military academy. Start one. And a lot of those, a lot of those early techs are really cheap. So once we start on those, we'll be able to crank those out. We 
I'm gonna, we got seven missiles here, 70 hit points, 3,000 damage. We'll be able to annihilate all of this. Japanese are, yeah, they got in their cities up there, yep. Yeah, they're gonna... They're gonna be cranking up ballistic missiles. But once I, once I, once I get this entire coast of South America, Christ, 115. Yeah, once I get the entire coast of South America, taking the rest is going to be a cakewalk because they're, <laughs> number one, these are puppets, so they probably have trash tech. And they just won't be able to produce too much. So if I just need to storm through this and take every city I can. And hopefully, once I do do that, we'll have a ton of manpower as well. I am I am tempted to just annex everything, but I... Well, I'm not going to be able to annex... I'm not going to be able to annex uh, this stuff until the entire war is over. So, yeah. Uh, and then the last one... Oh... Who else needed, um, Edmondson? They need a military academy. We should be able to start that military academy. Yeah. Yeah, we started that before the ballistic missiles. So there we go. That's all our military academies. Um, I... Oh, we, okay, all these... Alright. So now... Now I need to focus on building up all these cities. And, uh... And then getting universities in them. Once I, once I get them, I'll probably get all these up to large factories, just straight up. And then we'll, uh, then I'll start doing universities and research facilities and stuff like that. And we are now... We're up to 8,800, 8,800, which, yeah. Yep. And 200 hit points for all that. Um... This that is 380 hit points. I'll really I'll really have to be careful and test this out and just see how it goes. But yeah, I real I really gotta be careful. I can't take mass I can't take massive casualties of those missiles. They're relatively cheap, but it takes a while for them to move. It takes a while for them to be produced, so... Yeah. Keep working on Omaha. And we should be able to... We should be able to start... Good, we got those... Oh, that's all... Yeah, that's all those done. Good. We should be able to start... Um, a factory upgrade about every turn now no probably every other turn yeah every other turn we'll be able to start a factory upgrade since we're making we're making 30 people oh oh never mind okay <laughs> every two turns about I could I could start building paved roads everywhere Nah, I don't know. Nah, it's not worth it. I don't I don't think it's worth the resources and the time I'm going to pump into it. And besides, we 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 have more manpower than I've ever had in either of the games right now, so I don't I <laughs> I don't think I can squeeze much more out of these people, out of the, the land here. Oh, 
Oh, we got our... Got that last Denver missile down there. Uh, we'll be up to 10 next turn. Yeah, we'll be up to 10 next turn. And we got two more factories in Omaha. Then I think we'll... We'll throw another university and research center and get all the specialty buildings there. And then this one next. Because that's a port city and we need another naval academy to get out that naval radar picket or whatever it is in a decent time. In three turns until... Uh, oh, yeah, start Omaha. Three turns until we finish astrophysics and then we'll be able to start on the jets and... Um, Omaha can produce jets. I'll, I'll have to build, I'll have to get a fucking, an aircraft plant and an airfield in all these cities as well, because I need to be able to produce everything everywhere. So I can shift production real quick. I should be able to start another factory here, and then when this is done, I'll, I'll be able to start at that turn. Should be able to. We'll get... Yeah, we should get about 20 people, and then... Ooh, okay. Oh, astrophysics now, transonic flight. That That's not going to take as long as astrophysics, but I think it'll, it's going to take 400, um, 400 research points to finish. Transonic flights. Oh, yeah, it's going to take a little bit. 23 turns. gonna be a little bit but once we get that done we can get jet bombers and start cranking those out and i'll actually be able to defend against other jet bombers so i won't lose my entire goddamn airfield and my entire air force to a few planes like what happened last time and we'll, we'll oh oh we had to, now we have to do two more factories in omaha Mechanized factory there. Um, I don't think... Yeah, we'll start another factory there, because that has the priority. And then... Yeah, all of these, all of these have the priority. All of the, uh, the port cities do. Because I can get everything else there and a... Naval Academy. But I, we're just about at the end here of the... Well, <laughs> we are just about at the end, but, you know... It's still going to take quite a few turns to get all this stuff done. And I, Spokane finished all their mechanized factories. And we'll, uh... Yeah. That Omaha will be done next turn, and I should be able to start that same... The last Omaha factory. Um, next turn as well. Yeah, the game feels like it's starting to kind of, like, get a little slow now. Starting to sputter out a little bit, but it was... It, it was doing alright for a while. Or maybe maybe the AI just decided not to do much. And now it's just deciding to do more again, but... Generally seems like it's, uh... Going... Yeah, yeah it's going a little bit faster than usual.
There we go. Final factory for Omaha. How many missiles we got here? We got 11 missiles. 48, 40. 110 hit points. I mean, at this rate, I should be able to overtake the Japanese very, very quickly with, uh, with my hip, with my, uh, damage. Um, Rocky Mountain States, 13,000, 14,000. Look, yeah, look at this. We've already, we've overtaken the other United States, Spain. We're catching up to Great Britain real quick. The Japanese still double us, but not for long. I mean... The time it took me to get up to this is pretty crazy, considering these, these guys have had the entire fucking game. It looks like they're just building infantry. Which I should annihilate with my ballistic missiles. Shit, I think I should... Ooh, ooh, oh, uh, this place. I'll just kind of leave that place... Um, I think I should go back on ballistic missiles. Yeah, I should go back on ballistic missiles. I think I'll space them out too, again. So I'll have, uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll do this, I'll wait two turns, then I'll start one in... I'll start some more in Edmonton. And then we'll continue. Oh shit, no, we're starting, we're starting the university in Omaha, uh, this turn next turn and that 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 needs 100 yeah that needs 100 manpower which we should be able to we're getting up to we're gonna be up to 64 that's not enough shit well we'll queue it up right away just because i need more research oh we'll get there okay we'll get there at uh you know, uh omaha <laughs> Start the university. Well, they'll start it when I click next end turn. Nice. And now these guys. Edmonton can start their ballistic missiles. And if I can if I can overtake the Japanese Empire in attack attack potential and defensive potential. I think I think shit's gonna be going pretty damn good. So I think I think the uh, the order of things is a little bit off, but Or maybe not. It's still close enough. So our, our longest wait in between missiles is going to be three turns. Up to 12 missiles. A ballistic missile in Mexico City. Alright, and uh, 11 turns for transonic flight. Well, I think, yeah, I think we're, uh, I think we're going to call it here about 50 minutes. There's, there's no, like, ungodly turn times in this one, so I don't have to cut out too much, so that's really good. In the, in the previous video, the one that just, the mic decided to stop working on, there were, there were some long turns that it was just like, might as well cut those out completely because, like, I'm just waiting for the turn to fucking process. I think we'll finish, we'll finish the, this university and we'll start the uh, research facility. And then I'll call it. So next turn. And uh, another ballistic missile in Denver. Um, I guess I could... 
I, I might want I might want to build paved roads because these ballistic missiles moving around is such a pain in the ass. But I think I'll, I guess I'll start building up another force from Edmonton and Denver. I'll start building up another one right here, and just let Mexico City build up their own missiles. Or maybe maybe not. No 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 no. We're keeping all the ballistic missiles together. Because their one weakness is that they're fragile. They only got 10 hit points per missile. They have no damage resistance. So that's like their one weakness. So I might as well keep them all as one gigantic fist to do as much damage and prevent them from taking as much damage as possible by just stack wiping everything right away. So I think I'll use, I'll use mechanized infantry for, you know, just holding the front line and preventing any stupid ass maneuvers by the AI. And we got that done. Uh, programmable computers start that. Um, and start a research facility. And then we'll have to get the military academy. Um, rocket. Whoa. No, we don't even need rocket labs. Yeah, we don't even need rocket labs or, or the uh, jet propulsion labs because these are the only techs that require them. So we just need the military academy. Yeah, so, yeah, okay. That's awesome. But yeah, that's going to do it for this. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm really... Losing, losing that entire previous video, it's really not a big deal. Like, very, very little happened, just like this one. But things are slowly starting to pick up. Very slowly. But they are starting to pick up. About the same, about the same time as last game, about... We're closing on 500 turns here, so, yeah. But this time, we have all the technologies, and we have the proper research infrastructure to crank out all the previous techs that we didn't get yet. Actually, just I just want to check the tech tree, see if we have to get any special techs. So we already have Maneuver Warfare. We're going to have to get Tank Prototype 2, all this shit. So we got Maneuver Warfare, which is Mechanized 3 and Motorized 3. Then we have to get um, Vehicle Radios, which is Mechanized uh, four, and, 4 and 4. And we have to get the previous one, so we can get this right now. Um, we can get Advanced Munitions, then we can, need to get Tank Prototype uh, four. Where's tank prototype three? Prototype three requires... Okay, so we can get that right away. And then we can get this and this. And then... Uh, this requires a military academy, which you already have. It requires that. And that, we can get this right away. Um, tank prototype four. We need tank prototype... Or tank prototype five, we need four for that. And then, then both of these we'll be able to get once we get all those. And those two are 500, so that'll take a little bit. But 300, yeah, we'll be able to crank these out. These are, this is 400. But yeah, that's, uh, that's the plan. And space age and stage rockets, those are, I don't really see a need to get those. But there we go. Um, if you made it here, thank you for watching. If you watch any of my other stuff... Thank you for watching that as well, and I will see you in whatever I decide to do next time. So thank you for watching.